In this lesson, we'll discuss angle of attack and G's and how to read their current values on the HUD. The mission is currently paused. Press the spacebar to continue. The G-loading is the total force the aircraft's wings are generating. 1G is equal to the weight of the aircraft, so in straight and level flight, you will be at 1G. When you pull back on the stick, your G-loading will increase. The bottom left numbers in your HUD, currently reading 10 and 90, are your current and max G in tenths. That is, you're currently at 1.0G, and your max G is currently 9.0. If you exceed your max G, you risk damaging your aircraft structure, since your wings will be producing higher loads than they were designed for. As you get close to your max G, a warning tone will sound, and an over G voice wording will be heard when exceeding the max G. If you spend too long in high G's, or in negative G's, you will pass out for a few seconds, which can be deadly in a dogfight. Press the spacebar to continue. The airplane is able to make more or less G's by increasing or decreasing its angle of attack, which is the angle that the airplane meets the air. When you pull back on the stick, you are not only increasing G's, but also increasing your angle of attack. Your current angle of attack is indicated on a vertical scale on the left side of the HUD, just to the right of the airspeed scale. However, your wings will only work well up to a certain angle of attack. Above that, they will lose effectiveness. This is called stall. As you approach stall, the aircraft will begin shaking, and when you stall, a beep beep tone will be heard. You should avoid stalling, because your plane will be more effective at everything below stall. So if you pull back on the stick and hear that warning tone, don't pull back so hard. Press the spacebar to continue. The faster your airspeed is, the less angle of attack is required for a certain G. At lower speeds, you will not be able to pull your max G. You'll stall before you get there. At very low speeds, you will not be able to maintain 1G and will stall just attempting level flight. This can happen, for example, if you slow down too much on coming into land. If you find yourself in this situation, you should apply max throttle and push the stick forward until you are no longer stalling. Press the spacebar to continue. First, I'll have you try a high G turn at higher speed. Push the throttle to full afterburner now. When I unpause the lesson, roll to a 90 degree bank and pull back sharply on the stick until you get to about 8 Gs. The current G indicator on the HUD will increase from 1 0 to 8 0. Watch how your G and angle attack change as you pull back. Press the spacebar and I'll unpause the lesson. As soon as you get above 8 Gs, return the stick to neutral and roll level. Return to level flight at 15,000 feet and 300 knots. Remember, altitude is displayed on the right of the HUD and speed is on the left. Next, we'll try something similar, but at 300 knots. At this speed, we'll stall before reaching HEs. From level flight, you'll pull the stick all the way back until you hear the beep beep stall warning tone. Watch your G's and angle of attack as you do this. As soon as you hear the stall warning tone, return the stick to neutral, increase throttle, and then level out at 16,000 feet. Go ahead and try this now.
This concludes this lesson. You can keep flying or press escape to end the lesson.